All right, let's continue um, with the program, Tyre. Um, let's really conclude what we were saying uh, about, about Russia, um, Tyre. Um, I'm saying it from, from a different angle with what you just put in, but, but, but you, think, uh, you want to think on moral grounds. A lot of people will not agree with what the Russians are doing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone has their own opinion on, you know, on situations like this. But like I said, when um, you're talking morally, it's a totally different you know, uh, ball game to ensuring that these guys actually Give stay them a sense competitive. Of exactly, that's what uh, the organizers have done. And uh, like I said earlier, there was a similar, there was a parallel you know, uh, competition when the Rio Olympics was going on as well. So this hasn't come to me as a surprise at all and uh, yeah, we all know the situation now uh, you know the uh, alleged you know state sponsored doping. doping yeah yeah you say there's some athletes there that might be clean you never know you never and, know and some have also argued and uh, rightly so i in agreement with you that if one clean athlete is among these russians then it's unfair to give to them a, bl a, bl a blanket ban. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll wait to see. Uh, but, but, but as we leave this issue quickly, yeah. do you think the Russians can make good on their threat to leave the Olympic family? Or you think that um, the IOC and the IPC uh, cannot afford to lose a big nation like Russia? Uh, I, mean, I mean, there are obvious issues here. There are obvious issues here. I mean, the McLaren report, you know, indicted. Yes. yes. So it means there's something wrong. And that's what, they, yeah, they are, that's what they have to focus on, first of all, instead of, you know, threat about uh, leaving the Olympic uh, body, they've got to, you know, Clean you know the house. Yeah, uh, get the acts together. And that's the Paralympics, and that's the Russian Paralympics, and the Russian uh, Rosada as well, too, and the anti-doping bodies, all of them, they need to, you know, sort themselves out, you know, clean their acts, and, you know, try and return, you know, to the fold. Because, no, make no mistake about it, Russia is sports and superpower, yeah. and they were missed at the Rio Olympics, and they will be missed at the Paralympic Games as well. Too. So, um, good luck to them okay. yeah, in future. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, that, that's a little bit on, on Russia. Uh, let me throw my own in. Uh, I think the sports minister should resign. Um, Vital Mutko, I, I think he should resign. Uh, for whatever reasons, I don't know why he's still there. A lot has happened under his watch, and um, um, it, it, what is going on is a rot. And uh, we just hope that Russia will be able to clean um, so it doesn't you know, set uh, bad precedents because other countries are watching. Um, okay, let's move on and um, let's bring you to everything uh, that we're doing. We always like you to know that you are an integral part of this show, uh, that your comments means a lot to us. And that is why we always want you to contribute by um, sending in your tweets and comments on Facebook. Um, you can do all of these things that I've said uh, by sending us an email, sports this morning at ChinasTV.com. Uh, on Facebook, uh, it is China's iPhone Sports. On Twitter, that's our verified uh, Twitter handle. It is at channels underscore sports. Uh, you can give your opinion on issues raised on this program through uh, the following mechanism. And even when the show ends, the conversation continues. Uh, you can always, always um, speak out and be heard and let us know uh, what you feel uh, about some of these issues uh, that we're talking about. Okay, Taya, so uh, we, we, we move on on the show yeah. and um, interesting days ahead uh, for, uh, for sports. Uh, a lot of this happening um, as, as, well, as well. Maybe we should just throw in, throw in quickly um, the Super Eagles. Um, the coach, uh, the coach has been saying that um, we need all our players to be playing top quality uh, football and uh, that will give us a chance yeah. to, to qualify. But it just occurred to me that in the last six years we've played Zambia like, like three or four times. So we should have enough uh, on them and a lot of people are saying that probably is our, first, uh, our best chance. <laughs> Of three points. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, beating, beating Zambia alone is not going to, um, you know, give you the ticket. But it's good to start well. Yeah, to, to, uh, to Russia. So uh, that's, um, I don't really agree with that one. But like I said, it's always good to start when you're playing this round robin, you know, uh, competition. So, um, but like Ross said, I mean, all he has to do now is, you know, is have the opportunity to play with him just once, you know. So um, that one time alone for him to, you know, that one time alone, I don't think it's enough for him. He's a new coach, mm -hmm. you know, compared to these other sides that have had their co coaches in place uh, for a while now. We'll just, you know, all the best. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing this up. I'm bringing this up. I yeah. think it's relatively easy. A new coach, you're playing against a team that has not really changed. Most of those guys are uh, winning the goalkeepers to fill Asunso, Calaba, the spine of that Zamb the Chipolo Polo uh, is, still, uh, is still intact. And, and you're thinking that 
you know, we know enough about them. You don't need to start telling us you want to travel to Zambia, you want to go and monitor this. And that's yeah. our first game. And what usually happens tire in our qualifying series, especially since 2012, once that first game goes wrong, we eventually don't end up qualifying. Mm. Yeah, I mean, fair point, uh, like you say, and it's always good to start on a winning note. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about it. So I imagine everyone, the NFF, the coach, you know, uh, they're all working towards this particular game. The players as well, too, they know what's at stake. So I don't think, um, in terms of preparations, I don't think there's going to be, be any, any issue at all. But yeah, I mean, we'll come back to the Super Eagles later, um, later on after the show. But let's just quickly, you know, uh, continue uh, with... Ron Lochte, yeah. fallout from the Rio Olympics, fallout. I it was mean, always going to happen. I don't know. I mean, this is, it, it, it all feels like a nightmare for him because when he came up with that story about being robbed, you know, at gunpoint, and that threatened to actually overshadow uh, the last week of the Olympics, um, it, it kind of cast a very bad light mm -hmm. on Brazil as a whole. You know, yeah. never mind all the other uh, controversial issues that were surrounding the country before the game started. Ron Lochte appears now to be, you know, paying for his actions because reports coming in say he has been suspended by the United States for 10 months. Olympic Committee. Yeah, it, it's, it's a scandal. And um, I mean, this was always uh, going to happen. Uh, Brazil, thanks to technology, they were not going to let this. It was, was a slap, no. slap in their face and they weren't going to take it. It was lucky to have left um, uh, Rio yes. uh, at the time the investigation was, was going on and it still probably has something hanging on his head if he ever returns um, to, to Brazil. We see how all of this pans out. United States um, leading the way. You, you, you don't allow these, these things go unpunished. This guy, and we know what he has lost uh, mm. in recent times. A, a lot of his sponsors have Four sponsors have have pulled, the last count. pulled away yeah. uh, f from him. Now he, he gets you know, uh, he gets what I think is a good punishment because this is a sport um, that he loves. Mm -hmm. If the sponsors left and he was still allowed to swim, he probably might not feel it. Now he has to sit back from the sidelines and begin to look at others, um, his rivals, you know, yeah. moving ahead of, of him uh, in, in, in the glo uh, globally uh, on the world stage in swimming. Of course, that, that is enough punishment. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, at 32 as well, so now you wonder how long, you know, he yes. has left, you know, to swim. Uh, but for Ryan Lochte, I, I want to believe he's learned uh, from this because all he's doing, all he's happening now is he's paying for embellishing our story. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a drunken night out, uh, something happened, and he came back and went to file a uh, false uh, report. He's blamed it on, on the alcohol, but then that's not ex excuse. He has to pay, you know, for his crime in quotes now. So yeah, hopefully he comes out of this one a uh, stronger uh, character. I hope so as well. I hope so that uh, we get uh, swimmers are not always without their own controversies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Michael Phelps at some point. Yeah, uh, but, but not, yeah. not, um, on, not something that grabbed um, attention globally um, like, um, like this one. Okay. Um, uh, one other issue that uh, we yeah, probably Tiger. Tiger. have to look at is, is, is Tiger Woods. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy he's back. Uh, I'm happy he's oh, back. He's telling us he's back. Last few years, he's been injuries, 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 and um, he's dropped um, down, down, down. I, got, I, got, I don't even know what number he is yes. right now because That's he's not active. He's, dropped, yeah. he, he's not active anymore. And the stage has been taken uh, by the likes of Rory McIlroy and all Jason the other, Day, all, all the other younger, young guys. It's, it's good to hear that the Tiger is back. But the question yeah. is, will he be able uh, to, to, you know, uh, compete with these guys, um, you know, grab the headlines? Mm. One thing is for sure, I mean, it probably will not dominate as it used to. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. I mean, I mean, before he starts celebrating, uh, just going by his words, he's saying he hopes to, you know, to make his competitive return to golf next month. Mm -hmm. So there's still a bit of you know doubt in there somewhere. He's hoping everything goes good according news. to plan. Because if you so consider for the, for, the, for the next the last 10 months, he's been pulling out of one event yeah. after the other, one event after the other. And most time he didn't, he didn't speak. It was always his agent coming to tell us, oh, uh, the Tiger won't, won't be part of this one. Yeah. Tiger I won't be part of that one, but now the man himself has come out to say, I may, I may, yeah. and that's good enough for me. Uh, I want to see Tiger complete with these new guys, see how far uh, he's gone, and, 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 and the good thing about golf tire that you already know, age, not really a factor, is how good you feel with your body.
Yeah, I mean, age is not a factor. I understand what you're saying, but then age can be a factor as well. So especially when you start to undergo, you know, multiple surgeries, yeah. especially when it has to do with your back, and which is what the healing process takes longer. Exactly, as you grow. it's a lot more tedious, and the rehabilitation is a, is a lot more tougher for you because you're getting on uh, beats now. But let's hope for the best uh, for Tiger Woods. You know, absolute legend already. You know, 40 majors. If he retires today, uh, it's not going to take anything away uh, from his uh, legacy. But he says he plans to return to golf. You know, at the Turkish Airlines Open in November, as well as the Tiger Woods Foundation run Euro World Challenge in December. So we'll put that date down and we hope Tiger Woods makes a successful uh, comeback from injury. All right. Um, your word on Tiger if he comes back. Do you see him? Nah, uh, come on. Uh, come on. Do you see him top 10 guy, number one? Or just somebody hovering around the top 100? It would be very difficult. It would be very difficult. I mean, top 10. I mean, if you look at the golfers right now in the top List. 10. I mean, incredible. Scary. Very competitive. Jason Day, Eric Stansen, uh, Rory McIlroy. Just look at the Olympics. Uh, a lot of guys pulled out. Yeah. But it was still a very strong competitive field. Exactly. Despite top names. Exactly. Bubba Watson is still there. Yes. You know, Patrick Reed. A lot of great golfers. And for Tiger to have been out for so long, uh, coming back uh, to be a top 10 player, might just be a very, very long, uh, very, very tall other uh, for him. So I don't think it's going to happen. I just want Tiger to return to playing golf, enjoy himself, and uh, whatever happens you know, along the way, we'll take it as a bonus. And your opinion, the new crown king will be? Do uh, you think it's still... <laughs> Come on, it is still, you know, it's, if it's not Jason Day, it's going to be Rory McIlroy. It's going to be, you know, amongst uh, those uh, guys, Eric Stenson as well, so a uh, good player. Uh, you know, really now the Olympic champion as well, uh, Justin Rose. So uh, I'm not really going to just choose one person because, like I said, it is very, very competitive. Okay. <laughs> All right, that, that's tired. Just giving it to you uh, the way it is. Let's go on this quick break and let's allow you to enjoy action from the Nigeria Professional Football League. Uh, Rangers of Enugu taking on Rivers United, an exciting game of football. We'll allow you to enjoy that and we'll be back for more on Sports This Morning.